Hi there, I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters and I'm a soul sculptor. I help you break the mold of past heartbreak, break the broken heart and trauma so that you can have the amazing life and business, not only of your dreams, but that you desire. You know, a long time ago, I was searching for love. And I looked under rocks, I looked under trees, I kissed a lot of toads, a lot of frogs. And what I learned was that all my relationships showed me what I needed to work on. And the truth is that if we want a higher love, we need to know and love ourselves. The bottom line, if we want the love of our dreams, the love that transforms, the love that brings us joy, we need to know ourselves. We have it backwards. We need to date ourselves. We need to get to know who we are. We need to ask ourselves questions. What makes me happy? When do I feel the most joy? Who makes me feel good? Instead of letting the first person that comes along that shows you, oh wow, baby, you're hot. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go, okay, I'll go with you. And what is that relationship all about? Your looks, nothing about what you are inside because we're accepting someone else's view of us. So the truth is we can't be a chameleon. We can't be what someone else wants us to be. We can't change our color. I'll be green. You want me to be green? You want me to be sexy? I'll be sexy. You want me to be um, sweet and soft and kind and a people pleaser, I'll do that. No, because if we don't please ourselves first, if we don't know ourselves first, then all that other stuff is going to end up disintegrating or being abusive because here's the bottom line. The truth is we can only attract what we hold inside slightly slightly higher or slightly lower in other words so if we hate ourselves if we tell ourselves i'm too old i'm too fat i'm too ugly i'm not intelligent i'm not i've had all of these things told to me over the course of my coaching career people hating themselves and then expecting someone else to come along and love them it doesn't work that way if we want a higher love we need to love and accept ourselves. We have to know who we are, know what brings us joy, know what turns us on and what turns us off, and know who works best for us because not everybody is for everyone. However, I will tell you this, that when you love and accept yourself, you're gonna find there is a smorgasbord of lovers out there that will be fabulous for you. My guides have said, it is beyond thousands. The number of people that we could make, mate with, match with, love completely is thousands. So it's not like there's just one person out there for you. Oh no, because you're, you're a deep individual, you're diverse, you have so many qualities. Get to know what they are, love and understand who you are and what brings you joy instead of <laughs> the first person that tells you that you're beautiful or hot or sexy or you have a great ass, <laughs> that will not be a very long lasting partnership. You want someone who sees you for who you are and loves you for those qualities rather than wanting you to change to be who they want. So instead of the backwards love, we want love accept ourselves first and then what happens is we're not so judgmental of other people when we get that loving acceptance down for ourselves it is amazing how much more beautiful everything in the world becomes i'm jennifer elizabeth masters i'm a soul sculptor and yes i've mastered the art of love <laughs> and it wasn't always this way for me, but what I will tell you, the truth is that when we love ourselves, we become awakened so much faster. Life becomes so much better. Our health becomes better. The relationships that we have 
are better. Thanks for watching. Sending you so much love today.